Hi everyone! Today we are going to draw this cozy autumn drink in Procreate. Let's start. Let's make a new canvas. A for canvas from Procreate. And here is the color palette. You can download it. Link is in the description. First we are going to color the background. Let's just take this color here and we can drag and drop it like that. Now let's make a new layer to draw our cap. Let's change the color, take this first one here and now we can pick the brush. Let's go to calligraphy and take monoline brush. My brush size will be 35% and first we are going to draw an ellipse here. Hold your pencil and screen to make this a nice ellipse and you can put your finger somewhere here like this to make it horizontal. Let's move this ellipse to the middle of the canvas. Take the arrow tool. And here at the bottom I have uniform option selected and snapping turned on. We can move it to the middle of the canvas and it should snap in there. I'm going to make it maybe just a little bit smaller. Let's tap here to finish. And now to draw the bottom part of the cup, we can turn on the symmetry tool. Let's go to the Actions menu, go to Canvas, turn on Drawing Guide, and then go to Edit Drawing Guide, and here at the bottom pick Symmetry. In the Options make sure you have Vertical selected. Let's tap on Done. And we can draw the bottom part of the cup like this. Now we can turn off that Symmetry line, we don't need it anymore. So let's go to the Actions menu, and just turn off Drawing Guide. And here in the layers, we can tap on this layer here and turn off the Drawing Assist. So we have our outline for the cup. To draw the drink that will be inside of the cup, we are going to duplicate this layer twice. So let's swipe on it to the left and pick Duplicate. And let's do it again. Duplicate. And we are going to color the inside of it. Let's color it first with the same color, like that. Do the same to the bottom layer here. And we are going to change the color now of this. So for this bottom layer, let's open the colors. And we are going to take this one. Let's just drag and drop it in there. And now let's go to the front layer here, this one and change the color to this. Drag and drop it in there. Now we want to make those two layers a little bit smaller. Let's select them both, so swipe on this one to the right. And now we can take the arrow tool and make them both smaller like this. Let's move them back to the middle. If you are enjoying this video and would like to draw more of me, please check out my Patreon where I have more tutorials like this and I also have special brushes for Procreate. Link is in the description. So you should have something like that. Let's tap here to finish. And now we are going to erase some of it. To create that drink. Let's open the layers. And first we can do this layer on top here. And to cut a part of it, we can just use the eraser. Let's tap on it again. And let's set this to monoline brush. Let's make the brush size 100% and we can erase a shape here like this. Let's erase everything that's above that line. I'm still going to fix this shape a little bit. And now let's move to this other layer. Let's tap on it. And here we are going to raise a shape like this. And I have to go back to that other layer to erase some parts I have missed here. Okay. And now we can move on and start adding here some texture. So we are on this first layer here. 
we want to add some texture and shadow at the bottom part of it. Let's make a new layer for this and let's set this to Clipping Mask. This way whatever we are going to draw here will be visible only on the area of the layer that's underneath it. Let's change the color, take this one and we can change the brush. Let's go to Materials and take here Noise Brush. Let's make the brush size 45% and we can color here the bottom part of it. Let's do the same to the other layer. So let's make a new layer, move it that will be above this one and set this to Clipping Mask. Let's change the color. We can take this one here and we can add it here a little bit on top of that part. That's enough. Now we are going to draw the straw. Let's make a new layer for this on top of everything. We can change the color here, take this one and let's change the brush. Let's go to Calligraphy and take Monoline brush. And we can draw here two parallel lines like this. Hold your pencil and screen to make this a straight line. Now let's connect them here like that. And we are going to draw here the bent part on the top, like this. We can color this inside now. And I want to add here some stripes on the straw. To do that we can turn this layer into alpha log. It means that now we can draw only on this shape that is on this layer. Let's change the color, take this pink one here and we can make the brush bigger 100% and just draw some stripes like this. Now we can add some shadow to this straw. Let's make a new layer for this. And let's set it to Clipping Mask. Let's take here black color. Let's go back to this noise brush from Materials. Make it smaller. 20%. And just draw with it here at the bottom part of the straw. And now here on this side. We can now change the blending mode of this layer. We don't want this to be black. Let's set this to overlay. And we can duplicate this layer to make it even stronger and more visible. Like that. This part of the straw should be inside of the drink. So we have to make this less visible. To do that we can just go to this layer here with the straw's shape. And we can take the eraser. Let's tap on it again. And we can set it to soft brush from airbrushing. Let's make the size of this 8% and erase this very lightly here like this. To make it look like it's inside the drink. Now also we shouldn't see this part of the straw. We have to bring back that outline line here. So to do that we can just go to the layers. Tap on this layer of the outline for the cup. Tap again and pick select. Here at the bottom make sure your color fill is turned off. And now with this selected, we can open the layers again. Go to this layer of the straw. And just erase it here like this. Let's tap here to finish this. And now we can move on and draw the boba balls inside of this drink. I don't know, do you call them bubbles? <laughs> I don't know. So let's make a new layer. 
and this layer should be above the shadow part for the drink but we should take off the clipping mask here let's change the color take this one here and let's change the brush let's go to the calligraphy and monoline brush and with the brush size 100% we can draw here some circles they don't have to be perfect make them in different sizes Now we are going to add some shadow to them. To do that we are going first to set this layer to alpha lock. Now we can change the color. Let's take this one. And we can color the bottom parts of those balls. It doesn't have to be precise. We are going to blur this in a moment. And now let's add there some highlight, let's change the color, we can take this one, let's make the brush size smaller for this, 35%, and draw smaller dots here like this. Now it's time to blur this, let's go to adjustments and take Gaussian Blur. Swipe your pencil and screen to the blur size and we can make it 8%. Let's tap here to finish. And now this is the first layer of the balls. We are going to make another one. But first we can turn down the opacity of this layer. This balls will be more in the back, in the drink. Let's make this maybe 60%. And now let's make a new layer and we are going to do the same process. So let's take that brown color, this one, let's make the brush size bigger, 100%, and draw some more balls. This will be enough. Now let's set this layer to alpha lock. Take that darker color and draw a bit on the bottom of those balls. And now the lighter color. Make the brushes smaller, 35%, and add the highlight. Now we can blur this, so let's go to the adjustments and take Gaussian Blur. And here maybe we can use blur size 7%. We can turn down the opacity of this layer just a little bit. Let's make it 92%. Now we can make this drink more cozy, more atomy by adding here a leaf. Let's make a new layer for this. And I want this leaf to be behind the cap. I'm going to move it all the way to the bottom here, under the outline for the cup. Let's change the color. Take this one here. And we can change the brush here. Let's go to the inking. And take studio pen. Let's make the brush size small, 9%. And just draw here a line like that. And now we can draw smaller lines coming out of it. Now we can draw some leaves on this branch. Let's make a new layer for this. And move it under the layer we are just drawing on. Let's change the color. Take this one and draw simple leaf shapes like that.
Let's color them inside. Drag and drop the color here like this. And now we can use this continue filling with recolor option. We can use this plus here to move it to the places we want to color. This is easy and fast way to color some pieces in your art. And if something like this happens, it means that the shape wasn't closed. So I'm going to go back to this in a moment. Ok, let's tap here to finish. And now I'm going to close this shape and color it. Now we can add some texture and shadow to those leaves. Let's make a new layer for this and set it to clipping mask. Let's change the color to this one. And we can take here our noise brush. So let's go to materials and take the noise brush. And with a brush size 33% just add it here to the bottom part of the leaves like that. Let's create some gradient here like this. I'm not going to color the top ones. And we are almost finished here. Let's add the shadow under the cap. Let's make a new layer for this. And move it under the layer of the leaf to the bottom. Let's change the color, take this one here and let's change the brush. Let's go to the airbrushing and take soft brush. With the brush size 7% we can draw here an ellipse like that. Now we can change the color. Let's take this darker one here, this one and just add it more in the middle here. And now we are going to blur this still. Let's go to the adjustments, take Gaussian blur and let's make the blur size 14%. I'm going to move this shadow down a little bit, so I'm going to use the arrow tool and just move it down like this. Ok. And now in the end we can still add here some bubbles and some small dots to make this illustration more cute. Let's make a new layer on top of everything. Let's change the color to this one. And for this I'm going to use my stamp brushes. If you are interested in them, the link to them is in the description. I have here this stamp bubble. And I'm going to stamp it few times on the illustration. That was size 9. Now I'm going to make size bigger, 14%. And maybe one more different size, something in the middle, 11%. And I'm just going to add a few more. And now I'm going to use my other brush here, dot field, to add some dots to this illustration. My brush size will be 2%. And I'm going to add a few dots like this. And now smaller brush, 1%. And just a little bigger. It's 2% still, but it will be smaller than this one. And now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can share drawing with me on my Instagram. I would love to see it. And now I have a special shout out to my big fan supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for being there with me. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!